Hi, my name is Amanda Anderson, and I'm just today. I'm gonna wash my hands and then practice a few samples in order for my privacy. Um, and I'm gonna check the mercury, make sure my medication is on par. Mostly the patient is awake, alert, and very intense for you can tell me how they feel. Um, so she appears her stated age and her hygiene overall is appropriate for the situation, no pets. So, um, and her speech is clear, concise, and fluent. She has um, overall, there's um, no signs of illness. Her routine and pets are appropriate, are appropriate for the situation. If you have any pain, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to leave them for a few seconds. Okay, looking at her skin, her skin color is no longer in place for her ethnicity. There aren't any signs of scarring or lesions. Her hair appears to have an even hair distribution. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and palpate her head. and fine. Her skin is in form. And then I'm going to zoom out in her eyes. Her eyes are symmetrical. Okay, her conjunct her conjunctiva is pink. Um, her pupils are small and round. Um, right now they are at three millimeters. Constricted to a millimeter. Or no, two millimeters. And two millimeters again. And she appears to follow Okay, uh, and she is smiling, so her pupils are parallel. Uh, there is no facial drooping, her face is symmetrical. Um, and I have clinical exposure and symptom analysis. And show me or and smile for us. Okay. Her cranial nerve fiber intact. Did they show me your teeth? Check your teeth. Okay. Where's your eyebrow? Paint your eyes. Okay. Cranial nerve seven is intact. And I can you please open your mouth? Okay. Her oral mucosa is smooth and moist. There are no lesions. No swelling. Her Teeth are white, all of them are pleasant, they're missing teeth, no dentures or fine edges or caries or fillings. Can you please show me again? Her gums are smooth and moist, no swelling or edema, no contraction. Can you put that again? Okay, skin is smooth and moist, comes out midline, no um, coating. You can see that. Her uvula is pink and moist, it rises midline. And can you show me again? Okay, her tonsils are absent. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to her neck. So I'm just going to palpate her carotid arteries one at a time. Okay, her carotid arteries are equal bilaterally, um, plus two. I'm going to auscultate her bruise. Okay, take a deep breath in, let it out one more. Okay, and then deep breath in again, let it out one more. Okay, next one is bruise. So I'm going to move on to the upper extremity. Can you please show me the bruise again? Overall skin color is only for ethnicity. Um, her arms are warm and dry. She does have a lesion on her left upper arm 
את תחומה של כל נורמורי רגולרי, את גרנד קולר, את ה-2 מילימטר בדיאמר, ואת פלאט, The radial prices are close to um, equal bilaterally and the rate is regular. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Okay, so your radial prices are equal bilaterally next to it. So in this case, we're going to have no no signs of clubbing. Capillary detail is in sync and sequence and equal bilaterally. Um, and in the case of the other ones, we're going to have moderate strength, um, equal bilaterally as bilaterally as well. And then I'm going to move on to the heart. Okay. At the second intercostal space, the external order is the aortic area. And then across second intercostal space, left sternal border is the pulmonic area. Third intercostal space, left sternal border, is Earth's area. Fourth intercostal space, left sternal border, is the tricuspid area. Fifth intercostal space, mid to left mid trabecular line, is the mental area. And the mental area is also where you you would listen to the aortic um, or the apical pulse for one minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and listen to the heart. Using my thread. Or S1 sounds better at the apex of the heart, and S2 sounds better at the base. I didn't hear any S3 or S4 sound, um, and I didn't hear any murmur as the heart um, beat was regular. So now I'm going to go ahead and listen to the lung count. Those sounds were clear. I didn't hear any adventitious sounds. So if you could please just make more recordings. So it looks like curvature of the spine at the um I can move that up. At the or there is slight curvature at the cervical area of the spine, but beyond that it is straight and symmetrical. So I'm just gonna check the CV if you can see anything on the tenderness. Okay, so it's no CVA tenderness. And then her anterior or anterior post anterior posterior to transverse ratio is to one. Okay, and then if you could please just lie down so that I can assess your abdomen. Okay, and then to correctly assess the abdomen, you would need to inspect, auscultate, percuss, and then palpate. Um, so Right now, the contour of the abdomen is flat. Um, there aren't any scars, lesions, masses, rashes, deep 
things, the umbilicus is midline, and the stomach is symmetrical. So I'm just going to go ahead and auscultate. Your bowel sounds present in all four quadrants. Um, within the right upper quadrant of her, she would have the liver and gallbladder. The left upper quadrant would be the um, pancreas and the spleen. The left lower quadrant would be the sigmoid colon and her left ovary. And then her right lower quadrant would be the ileum and the appendix. So now I'm just going to go ahead and palpate and you can feel any tenderness. There weren't any signs of jiggly or venous distension upon her sitting up, so that's good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and assess her lower extremities. Colors normal practicity, um, dry and warm, usual care distribution, and then there's no sign of edema. So if you could please put your body in shape and posture. bilaterally, right, right to the middle, and I'm just going to assess her posterior tibial. Natalie, you just sat down. You can please get up and walk to the door and back again. Okay. The patient was able to independently do the get up and go test. Um, her gait was smooth and steady. She had a feet in stride. Can you please have your back towards me? Feet together, arms at your side. Nose rise, please. And so we're just going to be performed the round bird test for 20 seconds. Um, arms out at the side in case the patient becomes less timid. But based on this, I would say that she is very steady and not a slob at all. Okay. Do you have any further questions?